What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing another Live the Dream Cube, which I've been enjoying. And we're talking about the shoes that I ordered that got delivered today. So I figured I'd show them off while we're joining this queue. Uh, these are some Nike Air Jordan 1s, the original, the OG Jordans. Uh, they came out this past Friday. I did not win them in the raffle, unfortunately. So I had to get them on eBay. And these are known as the, uh, well, they were called the, the Biohack. They were called the Jordan 1 Biohacks. But Nike named them at the last minute to the Baroque Browns. Pink laces. I'm actually going to take the chroma key off real quick. So you guys can get the... get the full uh, the full effect here they're great they're super colorful they sold out real quick and uh, I had to get them on eBay so here we are are they made of real Michael Jordan these actually are not these are not but I like them a lot I think they're a great looking Jordan one and uh, looking forward to lacing these dudes up so, they look less like fish than I assumed they would. You know, I hear that a lot. I like some lime epiphany. And what if Nightpack Ambusher comes back? I think Sublime Epiphany is actually a lot better in Limited than it is in Constructed. I think there's a lot more situations in Limited where you're like, oh, there's always a creature. Is that noise coming from outside? I have no idea what that noise is. Or how loud it is. I'm taking Sublime Epiphany. I'm hoping that the blue-green dude comes back. The green wolfy boy. So. We'll see. Why do I put this in the sideboard? <laughs> it's me. The noise is me. Sorry, I'll stop. Lucky, 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 lucky. See, now the noise is you. <laughs> see what I did there? Because that's, because that's your, that's your sound bite. A bold move putting your first is it a bold move or is it just the kind of move that we need I like temple hmm I think it's actually just watcher of tomorrow I mean I don't think I want to commit to any of these other colors Elspeth's pretty sweet but I'm putting my card in the arena main deck yeah that's what I was doing Prophet of Crufix. Oh, see, now we're talking. Now we're living the green-blue dream, boys. I travel with the smoke flowing through the air. What does that even mean? God, he's so... He's so... So poetic. That's why he's a musician, man. Musician man! Wait, if you put your whole deck in the sideboard, does that make it your main board? Uh, can someone time Nature's Old Treasure out for me? I'd appreciate it. Can we get a, can we get a, a little time out here for this, for this guy? No. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Conclave Naturalist actually seems really good. There's so many cards that I want to kill with this card. And I'm going to take it. You can't tell us the truth. You better take Reckoner if it shows up. I don't care if you're not playing red or white. Jesus. Jesus. Um, Fiery Emancipation. If a source you control will deal damage to a permanent, it deals triple that damage. Jesus! I think it's just Seaside Citadel. That's a good fix in land. And I could see going banned here if I want to. Always Reckoner. Always damn near killed her. Oh, what up, Mark?
Now I have to, the only thing I have to do now is check and make sure these Jordans are authentic. Jordan 1s are some of the most uh, highly counterfeited shoes there are. But, considering they just came out Friday, um, I would imagine that they would not be able to get them before Friday. But like, they came out last Friday, I got them this Friday, so I have to assume that they wouldn't be able to make counterfeits, get them in their hands, and then also ship them to me from the States within seven days. That would be my guess. I think Spectral Sailor is great, but I think Frilled Mystic is... Oh, just exactly what I want to be doing. I also really liked Nyx Bloom Ancient in that pack, but... Oh, hi, Mark. Hugh, 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 Hugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. What's the best archetype? I don't know. I've been trying to play different archetypes every single every single draft, so... I mean, Roshi Meander is just a 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Actually, is Galta ever going to get cast? Probably not, right? The total power of creatures? Actually, no, that'll get cast. I get the I get the templating on on Great Henge and Galta confused uh, sometimes. That's I'm carrying a lot. This is just this is just Roar of the Worm, right? Like, one is it reduces it by the greatest power you control. One is it reduces by the total power you control. Um, I don't care about this. I'm just going to take... I'm going to take Hydra. Or Jin of Wishes. Eh, whatever. Jin's like three free cards. Ugh, oh, man. That's sad. My boy didn't come back. Whatever. More like Shit Guardian. That makes me really sad. Man, somebody better not be in my archetype. I'll tell you what. I'll take a Soren. I'll splash a Soren. We can splash it off Seaside Citadel and, uh, I don't know, some kind of Sultai land. Thank you. Is that the tech? Is that the. Oh! Oh, we got Nyx Bloom Ancient anyway? Oh, baby. He's excited. I forgot the freaking command. Live the dream. There it is. What's the point of having commands if, uh. Man, that's wild. That with Finale of Glory? Off of Seaside? Get up, get up, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a Boros Reckoner. Ugh, I have to read something? What does Idol of Oblivion do? Draw a card, activate this ability only if you created a token this turn. That's pretty interesting. This is X spells. Yeah, I don't care about that. This guy's kind of cool. Like you attack with him, and then before blockers, you you cast your you instant, and then you get to copy it. I think it's just Land of War Elf, which is weird. It could be Savannah if we're actually considering. I'll just take Land of War Elf. Uh, Breeding Pool is Naisu. Um, Lighthouse and Briarhorn are also pretty cool, but I'm going to take the Breeding Pool. I mean, we have Frilled Mystic in the deck, so. Oh my god, Rites of Replication on Nyx Bloom Ancient? Holy shit, that's some Chef's Kiss right there. You guys hear Katie on her motorcycle out there? She's ripping it on her hog right now.
I think it's Green Warden. What is Glade Muse? I don't know. This is the 2 4 for 3. Whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, that player draws a card? That actually seems what we want to do in our archetype. She has two motorcycles? <laughs> oh, man. I think this card is bananas, but it's also it also lets them draw cards if they're, like, casting, like, removal. I don't love it. But I'm going to take it. Spark Double is such a win more card. Like, I don't know. I, I think Spark Double is fine, and I'll take it if it comes back, but... It's such a card where it's like, well, if you got a guy, you make another guy. You can't you can't copy their guys. Uh, whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, this is just like, yeah. Oh, what if this guy's probably gonna come back? I'm gonna take the lumbering fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards. Yeah, I'll take lumbering falls. Oh, hinterland harbor. Yeah, I'm just going to take all of the blue-green lands, because mana's cool. <laughs> Seedborn Muse? That's just Prophet of Crufix 1.0. Oh, man. This deck is coming together, boy. I mean, all I need is counter spells. All I need is cards I can play during their turn. Mm. I don't think it's Villainous Oh, actually we have Nixpool Ancient? Yeah, we're just taking Villainous Wealth. We'll see if we can get that going. Oh, uh, Narset's Reversal? This is like whenever they deal damage, you get to search, right? It's pretty good. Oh, it's whenever they attack? That's actually even better. Jeez. I'm going to take Narset's Reversal. I think it's just better for our deck. Oh, look. Rite of Replication came back. Chronologist? Sure, I'll take a chronologist. Alright, four picks left. What is this? 14, 25? No, not this pack, but the next pack could have the the stupid horse. Hippo camp. 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 Come on, you stupid horse. Nothing yet? Okay. Just taking their time. My mom sent me to the hippo, hippo camp when I was a kid. I was fat. <laughs> well, you know what they say. I actually like God Pharaoh's gift as well. Nailed it. Who took my free and 4-4 wolf maker? Yeah, I'll just take living death. Well, what do they say? Chris, you know. So I don't need to say it. God. Some people. Ooh, Silent Blade Oni is the last pick. That's fascinating. Hippo camp. Oh, I like a Baron. Whirlwind denial. For each spell, you have really just pretty much how to pay for. Baron doesn't have flash though. I'm gonna take the whirlwind denial, because that's what we want to do, right? It goes with Glade Muse, it goes with Waybrick Pickup Camp, it goes with uh Seedborn Prophet. Yeah, we're just taking the counter spell. Nothing else in here, right? 
beautiful. Here because a small indie company can't properly run a stream. <laughs> what happened? Tell me what happened to the wizard stream. Oh, Snappy Boy? Oh, it's the snappiest of boys. Uh, that seems pretty good. I hate you guys so much. I don't think he's here right now. You guys, you guys are quiet. Can you guys be quiet? Guys. Sensor? Everybody hates that thing. Ketria Triome is on color. Palace Jailers in this format? Good grief, man. I don't think this guy's great in our deck. I told you he was gone. Chris, wow. I'm going to take Sensor here because it's good. Rashmi's also pretty cool, but... I don't care about Stone Coil. I want to maximize the number of instants we have for their turn. Uh, and I think Factor Fiction is a good one. Oh god, Eternal Witness is real good, though. God, but Factor Fiction. But Eternal Witness. But Factor Fiction. We don't have a ton of card drawing in the deck. I think I'm just going to go with Factor Fiction. See, one of these costs five? Why did I always think it cost four? Dream Eater's pretty good and limited. So is Vivian. Yeah, we're just taking Vivian. She real good. What is this thing? Z Zaxara the Exemplary? 2-3 for 4 with Death Touch. Add 2 mana of any one color. Whenever you cast a spell with X. Oh, there's a big X theme. Okay. Do we have any? I don't think we have any way to fix black. We only have Seaside Citadel. I would take Pelucranos. I actually laugh so hard that I'm lightheaded. <laughs> Chris, I love that you have these moments with the stream, man. It makes me feel good that you have these... Uh, I laugh so hard and almost died moments. I mean, I, I'm glad you don't die. I'm glad that doesn't actually happen, but... I think it's Pelucranos, and we're just trying to hit a... Black source? We only have, like, one black source. We could also take Temple Garden and then have double white for Finale. I'll take Temple Garden. And there's a... There's a Triome. Okay. Okay, Did I Navigator's pretty sweet. Did I Navigator with Frilled Mystic seems pretty nice. Yeah, and Dead Eye Navigator is just a bananas. Uh, are we, how, how, how many rogues do we have? Like, none? You're a wizard, you're a wizard. You're a beast, you're a horsefish. You're an elemental, you're a wizard. You're a, I have no, oh, let's say none. Let's just say none. I'm gonna take Fabloop. Archangel of Thune. Hmm. Fascinating. Venser. Swans of Brennel. Reverse to deal damage to swans. Prevent the damage. The source controller draws card. And the universe corrected itself. You're a horsefish? Holy smokes, man. rude to <laughs> remove command reckoner <laughs> the universe corrected itself it 
Maybe we just put right of replication in. What are we kicking though? This guy? And then finale? Shut up and take my money. Oh, one reckoner buck. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Rashmi came back. That's actually pretty sweet. The problem is we have a bunch of counter spells. If you don't ca oh, yeah, you can just goes in your hand. Sure, we'll Rashmi. Sure, sure. That'll be my twenty third card. How many counter spells do we have? Like three. Frilled, denial, sublime, censor. Copy an instant sorcery, then return it to its owner's hand. Dream Eater? Oh, that was a great that was a great last pick. Zach Sara is kinda cute, but we don't have any X spells, nor do we have We have to make one cut now. Oh my god, we have Boros Reckoner and True Fire Captain. We didn't see Star of Extinction though, so I don't feel terrible about that, but Took me a second, but we got... Chris, I, I appreciate you cleaning up the commands when you're done. I'm tempted to just play God Pharaoh's Gift instead of Nyx Bloom Ancient. I just feel like it's a better, like, late-game card for a deck like this. Like, this guy doesn't actually do much in our deck. I mean, we could play Wealth or Finale, but we have no way to fix black in our deck. So I think we're taking this guy out for this. And then we just need one cut. I mean, we, I could see us cutting Galta, actually. Oh, that's not what I want to do, but that's an adorable, an adorable picture. So, we're coming back here. <laughs> that was wild, man. Maybe take out Narset's Reversal? It's kind of a remand, right? Like, if they play an ultimatum and you Narset's Reversal, it, like... You're basically remanding it, right? I think you missed my mental breakdown of a process, though. <laughs> a delete command. Make the command go away, please. I'm bad at modding. <laughs> Jesus. I'm really proud of you for the uh, the steps you take. We need one card. We need one cut. How many coffee podcasts have hit you up to take your name? Literally none. And I think there's already one that exists. I think Gin of Wishes can come out. I mean, we could splash for black, but I'd rather just... But that means we're playing Nyx Blue Ancient, and we have to, like, hit the black, the one black source. Like, what do we play? Like, two, two, two swamps? I don't know. It just doesn't seem necessary, I think. Like, I don't even know if Seaside Citadel is necessary. I think it's either Galta or it's uh, Gin of Wishes. Eight and six. That's probably correct. I mean, I feel like if we can go instant speed Galta at the end of their turn, we just win out of nowhere. It 
But I feel like activating Jin on their turn is more like what we want to do. Alright, we'll see what happens. One, two, one. This is only like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just going to go. We're going to make it even because we do have. Oh, we can actually just cut Llanowar Elves. I don't love Llanowar Elves here. Like, it doesn't ramp us that, that well. And it's a pretty bad top deck. And then I feel better about playing more islands than forests. I'm going to cut the elves for a Galta. I just think Galta is just a better card. And then we can just play all the more islands. <laughs> I think our deck seems sweet. I feel like I've played a different archetype every time I've drafted this cube. And it's kind of sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. This guy into a rash me eventually. We don't really have much ramp, which is my only big issue. Like, every other deck we have, like, signets or something. Whereas this deck, surprisingly, we just don't have much. Da, 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 da. Give me an island. Wow, Genesis and Seed Guardian. Holy bajolies. That's wild. No, no blocks. Well, I was really hoping for a land there, but... I guess pumping this guy one is, uh... You know, basically the same thing. Man, land into Rashmi into Seedborn Muse would have been pretty nice. guy's big. I think we're dead. Okay. That's something. Just gonna pass. The Adams family. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes Chupacabra. Okay, that's actually fine. Eh, I'll take two. Land. Oh, wow. We're living the dream. So, two, four, five. This is a seven. I mean, it's just Seaborn Muse, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's take a factor fiction. Any order. And now we have a blocker. Unfortunately, we cannot... Oh, wow. If we get to block and then go factor fiction, draw a card off wave break, trigger this. I just killed my opponent out of nowhere in a game I was sure I had lost. I'm shaking. Man. Dude, magic will definitely do that to you. Magic gets that adrenaline going when the games are real close.
The Adams Family. Why do I have the Adams Family stuck in my head, guys? Can you help me explain? Oh boy. We well, can't things cast things at instant speed here. I think we just block here, maybe block with this guy. I don't feel like this guy's actually gonna get the job done. Because the daughter from it is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> wow, that's wild. Let's cast this, see what we hit. Um, I guess this is kind of random, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. That's a good hit. That guy by itself, huh? I might actually just take that. Oh, now I'm definitely taking that pile. Oh god, the Sir Conrad is just fucking brutal. I probably should have double blocked that guy. I really need a land here. That's what we wanted. Uh, when you cast your creature spell, search your library now. Just make a beastie boy. I guess it's trample? Yeah, it's vigilance. Draw God Pharaoh's. Oh, we should have done it the other way. Oh, wow. That was so bad. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, yeah, sure. Surveil four. Um, this guy doesn't do much, unfortunately. Graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. I'll put you on top. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this guy's gonna trigger again. Oh, they're just gonna kill us. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Yep, wow, Sir Conrad's a hell of a card. <sighs> it's pretty good.
Uh, yeah, snap keep. Okay, there's definitely Rashmi tricks that we need to learn. Like, we should have stacked it so that we play the uh, God Pharaoh's Gift. That is not something I'm super concerned with here. This guy is going to chronolo chronologize so hard. God, I hope so. Count this guy. I'm actually tempted to block here. I really just don't see this guy doing much work in our deck. Or in the cube in general. And I also don't want to take like 14 damage from this guy. And they didn't do anything, so that's good. I do like that. Oh, the absolute value. Put that dude in the garbage can. I really wish that I could hit a land. It's okay, we got Snappy Boy. Help me play a six drop. That's not a six drop. That guy's pretty good. That's a 5-5 five, five for 4. And you get to mill 4 cards. <whistles> a Kalidus and 2 reanimates. Okay, well, we get to chump block. And then factor fiction, if they don't do anything fancy. Yeah, okay. Sure. So we got nine cards, we can discard this guy. Get the untap with the Seedborn Muse and then keep up Epiphany, which is pretty decent. Whatever this is. Yeah, alright, well. 
Get rid of Glady Boy and Forest. <sighs> Sad. But I guess we got rid of an Arabos' intervention. Oh boy. Oh god, why don't we play Breeding Pool? We're so bad at this game. I think my brain is melting. Hmm. I'll just take six here. We can go to 12. Yep, that's fine. So they have one other card in their hand. Oh, Izoni. Oh yeah, we're definitely countered. Oh, Shadowborn, Shadowborn Demon. Counter a spell or turn. Create a token. Alright, so choose target spell. Choose target non-land permanent. This guy. Choose a creature. And choose a player. So you have Izoni in your hand. Oh, they're not playing it. That's really good for us. All these creatures are very good. Man, this is like the premier artifact deck. Hmm. Naturalist actually doesn't hit anything, unfortunately. Two, three, four, five. Do I want to do I want to activate this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can activate it twice and then keep up Snapcaster Sublime Epiphany, which is pretty decent. It feels reasonably correct. Oh, we should have actually held our land first in case it's a land. This deck feels really complicated to play. Okay, that was really good. Uh, 
Um, hmm. If we know... Wow, this is actually really good. Um, graveyard. Put on top. Put on top. Put into the graveyard. Actually, we should have played Rashby. Dang it, we're just messing up left and right. Put into the graveyard. Um, bounce this guy. Yeah, we definitely should have put Rashmi on top because then we could actually play Rashmi for free. Next turn, keep up the mana for Frilled Mystic. But... Actually, we can still do that. We get Fibble, Fibble, the Fibble Bloop. Now we have that in hand. So we can attack with Floaty Boy. They can block here and here. I think we're actually fine with not attacking with these guys. So we can go main, activate to hit Rashmi, and now we get to untap with all the mana. All right. Well, that was that was a turn. Oh, we just win. <laughs> okay. Good times. Wish I had some way to deal with their graveyard. That's the opposite of what we want to do. They don't seem to have much removal, so I'm actually wondering if, like, take out the Galta, bring in Nyx Bloom Ancient. Take out Forest for Seaside Citadel, Forest for Temple Garden. And maybe, like, just add Finale as, like, a, a kind of like an endgame, like, add a million. I'll take out Reversal. I don't think it's great. <laughs> Mike B's like, someone sent me, randomly sent me one penny on PayPal. So whoever it is. You're the hero we need. So we can go Lighthouse Boy. And then actually, this Lighthouse guy could actually level up pretty quickly. We can go turn 2, turn 3, level up, turn 4, level up, and then start taking turns. Because all our lands produce blue, so every single land is gonna... That's pretty okay. And they didn't hit any creatures, which is nice. Sure. I mean, if we can just get this guy level... <laughs> level 7 next turn, <laughs> that's pretty nuts. If they don't have anything to deal with it. I'll take four, sure. Actually, I'll block the visionary, because... That's fine. Alright, let's see if you got a way to deal with this guy. One time, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time. Fuck me! God damn it. It's fucking infuriating. Well, now we're probably way too behind way too far behind. So that sucks. Block, we take this is just so bad. That was really frustrating. Wow. I mean, I guess the alternative is play Rashmi that turn. They still play Plague Crafter. We have to get rid of one of the two. Cool. Must be nice. Yep, that was a fun... This is a fun round. Cool. 
cool. All right. Hooray. Any day now. Sure. Man, I mean, you go, you go all in on lighthouse chronologist, and I guess uh, you get you get punished. Misty. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna play that. <laughs> I don't foresee an Arsets or Rosal coming in any of this turn, but this is where they go. Agonizing remorse. Okay, they did not. Is it brushy one string or bushy one string? I think it's is it brushy? Oh, just hard casting this thing. Okay. I mean, I guess they're going to get a hit. Watch, they're going to hit Nickel Bolas and it's going to deal us 8 damage. Okay, watch, they're just gonna hit, actually they're gonna hit a counter spell. The island, I take none. It's basically Dark Confidant. <laughs> Excuse me. Okie dokie. Wow, this is a hell of a split. Really? Sure. Create a beast. 
Let's give it Vigilance. Easy discard forest. Oh, black bed and ramble ammo. Oh, black bed. Mm, seems good. So now, do they go with the planeswalker or do they go with the face? These are the questions. Face and face. Uh, no blocks. You can have an island. And a watcher. One, two, three, four, five, six. Create another beast. Vigilance. Cast this guy from. Actually, do we just play Gen of Wishes? No, I like the potential of. <clears throat> oh man, Prophet of Crufix, you are one mana away from what I want. So are you, Seedborn Muse. So are you. Wow, that's frustrating. Three five drops I'm able to cast. If seven cards, you know, one is a watcher. Vraska's Contempt. Get rid of this guy. Oh wow, we get to untap and play Sublime Epiphany too. That's pretty good. <clears throat> wow, that was great because they, they didn't play the land off of our guy, right? Oh wow, this is really good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We get to go Profit, Untap, Keep Up Sublime Epiphany. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> it's really sad both of these are in hand. Otherwise, we get negative two, cast that Navigator, play Profit. We also play Galta. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven. This will cost five. But we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, we're one away. That's unfortunate. Let's definitely play land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will cost three. I think we're just creating a beast here. There was also a previous black card that can kill enchantments. It was the one from Theros that lets you sacrifice a creature or sacrifice an enchantment. 
One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm so discouraged about this one. Oh, really? Um, sure. <coughs> Get rid of the more valuable creature on the board. Well, they are going to have three mana up this time. Choose an artifact or a creature. Sure. You got it. I'm sure you're taking Galta. Seedborn Muse and Gen of Wishes are not as exciting. Maybe you have Vraska. Yep. <laughs> That's what I assumed. The good times. The bad times. This is also a sweet combo. I mean, I'm not I'm just not gonna tap anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine with me. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, we're gonna do this. So counter a spell, return a permanent to its owner's hand. Hmm. I don't want you to get a free card or a hostage taker back. I think we'll just create a token and draw a card. Create you. I think I think just making a, uh, another profit of crew fix is probably just better, right? I don't know what they can do to counter this. We can play around sensor. <clears throat> oh, God Pharaoh's gift. I guess we'll draw that. So what do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. Yep. I'm just trying to get these guys off the board because they're kind of annoying. There's four, five, six, seven, eight mana. It's a lot. We could Dead Eye Navigator. <coughs> That's what Michael bees. So what do you take? Hostage taker? Or you, it's gotta be hostage taker, right? So you're one of my creatures. For sure. I guess you can take the other profit. Oh, you get to take one of my guys. That's cute. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hmm. 
Is that something we can do? Um, next turn we can play Dead Eye Navigator and utilize her. Yeah, this is actually fine. That's a lot of Galtas. That's impressive. I am impressed. When you cast your next creature spell this turn. Okay. And let's get... Naturalists. Yep. <clears throat> Give me that Galta. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. Are we going to pair this guy with anyone? I don't know. Um, Maybe Fibblethip. <coughs> and we know you have Waybreak Hippocamp. So we can actually... Can't play that actually because we don't have 4 mana. We can just cast it off the top which we'll probably do then. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Sensor off the top. That's fine with Jinnup Wishes. We can also just draw a bunch of cards with... Uh... <clears throat> what's, his, what's his face? We can just Dead Eye Navigator blink Fibblethub like ten times. The good times, the bad. This is very complex. These game, this this deck is very hard to navigate. <laughs> what up, lonely text? Uh, yeah, I might be on sometime this weekend. Some folks are born made to raise the flags. Ooh, that red, white, and blue. Four, five, six, seven. Let's... Oh, I had to click it on Fibblethip, didn't I? They both have the ability. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not smart. Oops. Well, that's going to cost us. Oh, Glade Muse. Lots of lands. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna take 13 here, go to four. Like. Come tomorrow, I'll be on my way back 
home <clears throat> in the morning call from roadside telephone one night doesn't mean the rest of my life if i go Oh, this is fascinating. Um, okay, but you know I have this, so... Weird. <clears throat> Can we just win here? They're at 13, they have two blockers. They take nine automatically, they block the two biggest guys. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, they're just dead. No, they get to untap all their mana, I guess. They're close to dead, though. Oh, and they get to untap their stupid Galta. Impossible is probably wrong. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Seed guy. What can we hit for three? We have nine cards left in our deck. Good gravy. Okay, this is a is Snapcaster just gone? So you, then you, then you. We're just going to talk with this guy for now. I don't think they have anything going on that's really going to affect us. We have Frilled Mystic on top, so that's cool. We can also Blink Watcher to get Dream Eater in hand and just utterly blow them out. No, we can't. We don't have Dead Eye Navigator yet. No, we blinked it, I navigator, and then yeah, that's that's correct. One, two. One, two to blink watcher, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. But we're just gonna infinite block it. Oh, interesting. Oh, they don't know what's on the top of our library. That's fascinating. So we're going to go four. This is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I'll just chump block this guy so you can get a card. <clears throat> Galta does have trample. Buddy, I know it. So 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Yep, yeah, alright. So this is just game. 4-4, four, four, dude. Oh, they didn't give me my... My watcher. Maybe it's not game. What if they go, like... Black sweep? I don't even know what black sweepers in this format. 
They gotta be dead, right? Dude, these games are so grindy. Shriek Maw? Do I care about a Shriek Maw here? I don't think so, man. Like, you kill my biggest guy, you kill Jin, and then you block a 3 3, right? Then you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, sure, you're dead. That's fine. Shriek it up. Mm hmm. You got it. Okay. Buddy, I'm going to straight murder you. Eh, you know what? I don't need this. Because I'm afraid. <laughs> <clears throat> so good night negative eight our deck is bananas b a n a i mean it's good it's not i don't know if it's bananas have you listened to their newest album? No, I've listened to like... Dude, I got sucked into a, an emo wormhole last night. I, um... There was an Owen song in my recommended... Recommended listens, and I was like, Oh, alright, cool, I'm in. And then I was like, Oh, there's a Get Up Kids song too. And I was like, Oh, I'm in, alright. And then I just kept going. And I started listening to a bunch of new tracks. I don't know if they were new tracks. They could have been any any time in the last ten years. They could have been. Um, did you listen to "Take Me Somewhere Nice" by Mogwai and for hours and qua and cry? Because <laughs> I didn't. Oh well, that's good. I'm glad you didn't do that. I think you did, guys. I think Spencer had an emotional night. But possible is probably wrong. If I go, man, do I love, I love some get up kids. Oh man, the Lawrence Arms. Holy shit, we are talking some old school emo. But I guess it's not any older than the get up kids. <laughs> Ten minutes to downtown. It's ten minutes too far. Friends all say I'm crazy. Maybe I'm being selfish. Maybe I'm just scared. Don't be gone when I get home. You're all I have. If I had to explain it, I wouldn't know. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Pockets empty. How can you tell me that everything will work out? Oh my dear Jesus. Things are happening. <laughs> cool. A pointless fight, and you're always right, and everything will work out. Of course, they hit a fucking seven mana temporal mastery. One dog in the dog bed. 
We're gonna Vraska's contempt this guy just thinking another hit. Yep, even though it's not great. So if they have Shriek Maw, it's good. If they don't, it's bad. Shriek Maw. Dinets. Oof. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're gonna make this guy unblockable, huh? Oh, okay. A pointless fight, and you're always right, and everything will work out. Alright. Four damage. Fucking amazing. I've taken 11 damage off of this card. That's... Well, need a land there. Because... You know, then I could play Prophet into Conclave. Ugh, God. That sucks. My... And they have Hostage Taker for next turn, so that's cool. Alright. Good times. Good... Times. Yep. Okay. Alex says Commander Your Cold Dead card is legit scary. Yeah, I mean, just like, is it every opponent? Or is it that opponent? Okay. Each opponent loses life. Jesus. That's brutal, man. Brutal, man! Well, a three drop would have been nice here, but, you know, I'll take four, five, six, six. I mean, let's see if they have Yuriko. Yeah, let's see if they have Ghostly Pilfer into Yuriko again. Oh, boy. Well, at least they're not hitting that. Oh, wow, we just took two. Oh, yeah, Cursive is wonderful. Hey, buddy. I don't know about all that, but you know what? I appreciate it. Oh, man, they only drew a card. Wild. Now I have to get up, kids stuck in my head. Unfortunately, this naturalist doesn't hit anything. They can go key to the city. Thank you. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. I appreciate you. Get a load of this guy. Coming in hot again. I mean, this is... This is fine. 
Fibbletop did his, did, his, did his duty. Oh. Oh wow, they just, they just straight, straight did a duty on, on me. Wow, that was a... We're taking the top. Man, they really hate this Vivian Monsters Advocate here. This is wild. What's happening right now? I'm definitely taking this pile now. They've shown me their fear of... of Vivian. Plus I wanted that land anyway, so... Ooh, did I? Navigato. Domo arigato dera in avagato, domo. Divest. I mean, you can't take my epiph. He probably is. I mean, I mean, this gives me a very river. Is it river sticks? Is that what it is? It gives me a very river sticks feel. So I would imagine so. They have two mana. I don't think they can deal with a Vivian with two mana. A pointless fight, and you're always right, and everything will work out. They can pitch another card? Wow, they are pitching gods. Pitch the god. Ooh, Narset's reversal. What can we. We can actually Dead Eye Navigator and get. Oh my god. Hmm. I want to negative this, but I also want to play Dead Eye Navigator and get like Prophet of Crufix here. Let's see. <laughs> and the river sticks. Oh, because I was doing Dead Eye Navigato. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm definitely not. I wasn't. Yeah, you're right. I I failed. I had a fail. And that was my bad. I'm really afraid of like a... Well, you know what? I think this is actually fine. Because even if this doesn't resolve, we still get to search for it. Yeah, profi. If they have like a two mana removal spell, it's very rough. I don't think they do, because they said it's an annoying combo, so. But like once we get to untap, we just get to blink this forever. So it's kinda hard to kill. Okay, I think we've got this game now. What's the river called the Charon? In, in in Greek mythology goes over. Because that's what I was thinking you were referring to, and I'm like, yeah, it definitely looks like that. But I can't think of the name. Is it the River Styx? Or are you guys still trolling me right now? Charon River. I'm just going to Google it. 
Because I don't trust you guys. It's the river sticks, you sons of bitches. Oh my god. That joke is so good then. I don't have any equipment. See, that's what I was thinking. I was literally thinking the river sticks, but I didn't get the joke because I thought it was just the joke at that point. And, uh, you know. I mean, I guess we're just passing here. Attacking for a thousand. Oh, just a counterspell. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have to play anything here. I guess we could have attacked with Lumbering Falls. But then, if they double block, we don't untap with Sublime Epiphany up. Oh my god. I know, I'm proud of... <laughs> I would much rather go to the River Breadstick. <laughs> That's fat. An artifact, exile it. I don't think we have another artifact in our deck. So I'm just going to take two. I'm trying to think if we have another artifact. I really don't think so. We don't have any one. We don't have any two drops or three drops. Yep, they got nothing. The only thing we have is God Pharaoh's gifts in the sideboard. Just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Oh boy, it's gonna be like a Doom Whisper. Fuck. Cast. Counter it, bounce a thing, create a token, draw a card. Yeah, this should be the game. Counter, bounce, copy, draw. Choosing my modes, choosing my modes. Break me off a piece of that, choose my modes. Do they use silver dollar pancakes over their eyes to cross? Is that another sticks joke? I can't tell. No, don't. That's fine. You don't have to pair with anything. Everybody get in. Got him. Alright, we got one more. Let's see if we can keep our positive win rate alive. Um, you know what? This is slow, but I'll keep it. I don't think this format's super fast. Plus, we're on the play. How do you go wrong? Epiphany is fantastic and limited. Less so in Constructed. I think there's fewer creature decks. And, like, Constructed is a more organized format where, like, sometimes copying... Like, the decks you want Epiphany and you sometimes don't have creatures, whereas, like, most limited decks you're going to have creatures. Like, I played it against Super Fritz and Constructed, and I was like, eh. Sensor. Oh, that's a good draw. Alright. Oh, wow. Oh, alright. <laughs> Solid. Well, next time we can rash me. Hey, guys, don't rash me, okay? I'm just trying... Oh, shit, are they playing five colors? Oh, boy. Okay, well. I don't want to 
change your life. This is fascinating. Definitely sacrificing Watcher here. Free spells. Uh, nope. Don't want to cast that. But I like having a counter spell. Next time we can keep up Whirlwind and Dream Eater. And fact. Or fiction. Alright, seven mana. Time to get busted on. That's pretty good. Hmm. Brett, you didn't even know Teferi got banned? That's hilarious. Yeah, Teferi 3 drop is banned. Um, yikes. Yeah, I think we're just passing and playing Dream Eater here. God, we just take 10? Might just be worth blocking with Gin of Wishes. Uh, I don't actually care about that. I have two cards in hand? Alright, I think this is manageable. Because they can actually recast this this turn. Oh, are you going to counter this? Oh boy. Sure. Nope. Yep, that's pretty bad. It's less manageable now. Sublime Epiphany. Galt at four, five, six. This costs four? Interesting. Come on, Seedborn and Prophet. Fucking island. <laughs> Okie dokie. I actually should have played Fibblethip first. One, two, three, four, five. Cast him for five. Now we're just jump blocking. Which feels bad. They're just going to get rid of this because they have an answer for it in their last two cards. Yeah, we're losing to one Gisela. Okay, well. 5534 five, Frilled Mystic or a Rashmi of their own. Okay, that's. That doesn't kill us. Neither does that. They have no cards in hand. They could sack for a 7-drop, a 5-drop, or a 2-drop. And we're jump blocking here. We can't take 10 or else we die. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's why we played Galta first. Never mind. We couldn't have played Phil with him first. That makes me feel better. If we played Phil with him first, like, we're trying to hit a, a good, like, cascade off of, off of Rashmi, so... Fashionably late to the party. God, I'm just hitting lands off of this. It's really terrible. Shit. It's really frustrating. I guess we have Factor Fiction that we can hit something off of, but I don't think it's going to be... Uh... You don't have Reach, right? <laughs> okay, we'll just kill this guy. It deals three and three. Oh, I'd have to. I'd have to. Ugh, that's terrible. Okay, we're probably dead. This. These are just confusing cards. That I haven't like. I've never. I haven't played against Giselle in like fucking ten years. <laughs> so that's that's fun. Did I navigator that? There's like nothing we can even flash back here, unfortunately. Yep, we're just gonna concede here. You got it. I feel like right should be in the deck because like it doesn't just copy your creatures. Oh yeah, we took this reckoner on the wheel. <laughs> oh man. You know what? I'll keep it. I don't think we saw any cards in their deck that they play on our turn, but if we can go Glade Muse into counter a spell, that seems okay. Always Reckoners. Oh, they did play a Supreme Will. Yeah, that's true. They did play one Supreme Will. Just can't get enough. Watcher? God Pharaoh's gift. Good gravy. Thankfully the deck is fairly slow. Or else it's, it seems like it. Mono triomes dot deck over here. All right, turn four, turn five. Sony D, it'll burn your throat. Cool. Yep. Boy, this is a this is a draft where Plague Crafter really sticks it to me. Sure. 
Heartless summoning. Okay. You know what? Sure. That's wild. I mean, I'm just looking forward to God Pharaoh's gifting, bringing back the Glade Muse, and then just crushing. It's gonna be another Gisela. Are you just running out Gisela? Nah, brah. Don't do me like that. Put it in the garbage, garbage. Tale of a fateful ship. Hey kids, you know what time it is? It is rhyme time from the Rhyming Wiz. I know it's been some time, but I don't want to spoil Frank, even more so when he goes into cube like a tank. But then you get bored and have to write stuff. And man, I'm not rhyming for this long. Has been tough. Frank, you majestic beast of this stream. Man, am I glad to be on your team. Cue up the great stuff as best as you can. And remember, if we, if we face off in cube, I'm a big fan. Hold on, I have to answer this Katie call. Hello, my dear, you're on stream. Hello, stream and Franklin. You're just leaving right now? Yeah. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Yeah, our KCC was not what I anticipated. I don't even know what that is. That's where I, I read things in front of the radiologist and then they tell me if I'm wrong or not. Oh, wow. It's like, it's like, it's like homework, kind of. Yeah, today I started reading um, a CT for the first time, but I only had six minutes to read it in, and that was terrifying. Man, I, I played Magic the Gathering today. <laughs> it, was, it was much less uh, scientific. Um, you probably brought more joy to people's lives than I did. Well, maybe, but let's not go crazy. I'm on my way home. Are we going to Home Depot? Yeah, probably. I'm, I'm in my last round, so I'll be done by the time you get here. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. Well, okay. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, this is crazy. Oh my god, I'm in the stream. She said hi to me. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Top boss, I love you too, buddy. Hey, this is crazy. All right, you got two cards again. What could go wrong? Kitchen Finks. That's actually really good. Third deck is really sweet too. Oh man, I think we're dead. So we've gone one, two, three, oh, three, oh, one, two. That's pretty bad. Oh, Jesus. Um Yikes, you can cast both of these. I'll give you the Atrus, I think that's less scary. Um, <laughs> the top pile will be face up, the bottom will be face down. Interesting. Yep, that's what we're hoping for. Although Elspeth isn't that great with Heartless Summoning, right? So they have Kaya's Guile and a land. Yeah, I mean, Angel of, Archangel of Thune is just really hard to deal with by itself. Yep, that is 
is unfortunate. Arctic Avenger, have a good night, buddy. Don't be a land. Conclave Naturalists. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, -oh, -oh. I mean, I actually don't want to get rid of Heartless Summoning here because it makes their things... I guess we just get rid of Boros Signet. Persist and should die immediately. Yep, cool. They do gain life though, which triggers this again. Yeah, always a pleasure. Yikes. Okay, that seems good. What are they tapping here? It's too white, buddy. Yep. Zori signet. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. I guess I'll just take seven. Nine, rather. And land. Oh, a seed guardian. You know, I don't think that guy's going to do it, I'll be honest with you. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Maybe we'll do better next time. 303012. Not the worst, but definitely not what we're looking for. Check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore if you guys want a great deal on a two-year subscription. 68% off plus one month free. You can also check out manatrators.com. Uh, mana yeah, manatrators.com. The uh, link and promo code are down below. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys.